Hey fam, can somebody tell me why is it so important for people to argue even when you're telling them the truth? When you're spitting straight facts, they still enjoy arguing with you. It's amazing. <laughs> the lack of accepting what is real. Like people are really delusional and so stuck in their ways. They don't have any desire to change, so they don't want to hear it. And not only will they just excuse it by just moving on no they're gonna stop and argue and push their point whether it makes sense or not all right let me let y'all know what i'm talking about so a young lady had posted herself and her female lover dancing all suggestively all over each other and as soon as i saw it it broke my heart because i understand what it is god wants for us and that is not it and so i made some points to her and so when she came back on, she responded and she had every right because it was her page and I don't have a problem with it. So she said, don't come on here with your religious brainwashing judgment, blah, blah, blah. So I said to her, I won't be bothering you again, but I want to make this point. Sweetheart, I'm no longer brainwashed. I have no parts in religion. I believe strictly in the Bible. Unfortunately, people get the two confused. The Bible is not equal to religion. If it was so, all religions will be doing the same thing. They will be following that Bible to the letter, but it's not so, right? So I expressed that to her. And I also said, you're brainwashed into thinking that you don't need a man and you're with a woman. I said, Margaret Sanger, a white woman who hated black people and wanted to exterminate us, came up with that feminist movement. I said, yeah, she was the one pushing that. I don't need a man thing and set up abortion clinics all throughout our neighborhoods so we can get rid of our babies, decreasing our numbers and ruining our family life. And so guess what? She actually came on and she liked my comment. And this is why I do what I do. Because the Most High God told us to warn one another. I'm not attacking that girl. I don't know her. She's a beautiful young lady. I don't know her. But she's supposed to be with a man because she was designed to be with a man. And so, of course, those in the LT, JBT, ABCD community who saw my post, they came in. They was ready. And I didn't even respond to all of them because I'm not trying to argue with them. The Bible says not to argue with a fool. You're a fool if you argue with a fool. But I do like to give information so people can have something to think about because I believe a lot of people don't know what's up. That's why Christ is not here yet. He's not coming until everybody knows the truth, his truth, right? Not your truth because everybody doesn't have a truth. He's the truth, right? So this was over a month ago when all this went down. And so just yesterday, somebody saw that comment that I made and they decided to respond to me. And so the person, it was a female and she was a part of the community, the alphabet community. So she says to me, first of all, show me in the Bible where God says it's wrong. That was the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Obviously, she's never read the Bible. And if she did, this is what she said. Secondly, the Bible has been transcribed or whatever. And show me that in this original context. And I'm like, quick with it, with it, because that's the Holy Spirit. So I said to her, I'm not going to argue Bible with you. Show me two men that made a baby. Show me two women that made a baby. And I said, I'm done. I won't be going back and forth with you. So my point is this. I don't know if she understood that. Or I don't know if she really believes that the Bible is for that. But I had to let her know. Two men can't procreate, nor can two women. So that just goes to show you that goes against nature. Point blank, period. There is no argument. Now, what you decide to do with that information is your business. And it's going to be between you and your father, Heavenly Father. But he said, warn them. And that goes for me, too. You don't think I've been corrected? You don't think I've been warned about stuff? If people love you, they will tell you the truth. And I happen to love my people. And I'm going to tell the truth from the Bible perspective, not my own. We all know that procreation takes place when a man leaves his sperm in a woman and it fertilizes the egg. That's how we all got here. Not one of us got here any other way. And so that speaks against nature, what you're doing. Point blank, period, whether you like it or not. It's a personal choice for you. And it's something that you have to take up with the Father. And that's what I tell people. Don't be mad at me. Take it up with God. It's his way or no way at all, honey. Peace, love, and blessings, family.